Okay, Len, today we're gonna go over everything that you need to know about the Rainbow Valley event. Starting off with a free Rainbow Valley that everyone can claim. First, go to the Entertainment District in Atlantic City and talk to Rainbow Rick, who is outside of the Lumi Center. He'll tell you that you can find six different trainers around the game that all have a different color theme, like red or blue. Once you've done talking to him, you'll be able to find these trainers, and if you beat them, they'll give you a color tuff that corresponds to their colored theme. Which, I will say here, they all have three level 40 Lumias that are all TP trained and also have items, although they don't have any set moves, they just have damage dealing moves. Okay then, so let's go over where to find these trainers then, okay? The first trainer is the Green Master, who is in Gale Forest. She has a Tyrex, a Colossotrops, and a Gamma Urusol. The second trainer is all the way back in the Crystal Mining area on Route 3, and she is the Orange Master. She has a Sumobito, an Infernix, and a Gamma Stratosaur. The third trainer is on Route 5, near one of the first Rebattle Ball trainers that we had to grind experience on, but she is the Violet Master and has a Gobademic, a Revenine and a Gamma Oxidrake. The fourth trainer is in Igneous Hollows, all the way down at the bottom across the bridge, and is the Red Master. He has a Canibo, an Eruptodon, and a Gamma Munchwheel. The fifth trainer is on Route 8, also known as the Underwater Mining Area, and he's the Yellow Master and has a Luxor, a Zulong, and a Gamma Moochoon. And then the final sixth trainer is on Lotus on Beach. He's the Blue Master and has a Meditoad, a Wintrix, and a Gamma Borok. Once you've beaten all of these trainers and have been given their color tufts, you can now go back to Rainbow Rick in Atlantic City and they'll tell you that you can now go battle the Rainbow Master and if you beat her, she'll combine all of your six color tufts into a Rainbow Tuff. You can find her in the Living District in Atlantic City. She has five level 45s who are also TP trained and have items and she has a full team of Rainbow Vari Evolutions which are Venelon, Zephalon, Wendelon, Kirillon and finally, Wrestling. Once you've beaten the Rainbow Master and she's combined all of your toasts into the Rainbow Tuff, you can now head back to Rainbow Rick a third and final time, which he'll take the Rainbow Tuff and he'll ask you which pure personality would you like your Rainbow Vara to be, which once you've picked, you'll be given a Rainbow Vara. A couple of things to know is that this free quest Rainbow Vari doesn't have a Wisp and is also trade locked to my knowledge, but it can still evolve into any of the Vari evolutions. Okay then, with the free Rainbow Vari out of the way, there's still more in this event. The Rainbow Wisp Rainbow Vari is still taking part in this event, however it is now in the wild and I believe it is around a 1 in 20,000 odds to find it anywhere in the game. These Rainbow Varies, like I said, have their Wisp and are able to be traded and also can be evolved into the Vary Evolutions as well. But that isn't everything you might have noticed, that there's a new Rainbow Solitude that was next to Rainbow Rick while you're doing the quest. But yeah, Rainbow Solitude is now also in the wild at around a 1 in 1000 odds anywhere in the game. Also, this Rainbow Solitude has got an Alpha and Gamma Gleam version that should be boosted like all of the previous events. So with boosts and game passes, it should be 1 in 64 for the Alpha and one in 320 for the Gamma, instead of the original 128 and 640 odds. And that's everything you need to know about the new Rainbow Valley event. Hopefully this has helped you. If it does, make sure to hit that like button and maybe subscribe. It would really help me out a lot.